corruption issue. On health care, I believe, as the president does, that we need health care reform, that we, we have the best quality health care on earth, but some people, many people, can't afford to be sick, and we need to rectify that. The cost of Medicare is outraging, outracing our economic growth by three to one, and it's the single largest driver of future deficits unless we take care of it. So first on Obamacare, the, the, he didn't handle the cost. He did some good things with Congress's leadership, but I'll give the president credit. Uh, Pre-existing conditions to be covered by insurance, the umbrella for a family raised the age, I believe, to 26 to cover children. The, these had been long discussed. They needed to be done. But he didn't do the tough stuff. Here's the tough stuff. Insurance companies need to be under the Sherman Antitrust Act. Right now, they're the only industry besides baseball that's excluded. And insurance companies, therefore, have 50 monopolies. You can't buy medical insurance across the state line. Therefore, you can't shop it. Therefore, you can't, there are no choices. There are no comparison. There's no competition. And our estimate, my, my experts and I, think that that's about a 14% cost reduction in the cost of health care if we, if we put insurance companies under the Sherman Antitrust Act. You know why they're not under the Sherman Antitrust Act? Somebody raise your hand and give me an opinion of why they're not. And we've talked about how Washington works. Absolutely! You're the man! You are the man! I'd been in Washington one week. I didn't take PAC money. So I get a call from the representative of the insurance PAC. Well, I know, Congressman, you didn't take PAC money, but we think you're bright. You're one of these Harvard graduates, and you're going to be a leader. Oh, man, it sounded good, you know. And he said, we'd like to come over and help you in your campaign. I said, well, the campaign's over. I won. That's why you're calling me. He said, no. He, he said, I said, I beat an incumbent Democrat. I'm really proud of that. He said, no, we, we mean to bring you a contribution. I said, I don't owe any money. I, I never end a campaign owing money. I, I run a ballot. I'm a businessman. And so he just finally, he says, we'd like to bring you a check, man. And I said, are you a PAC? Do you live in my district? I have a limit. Got to live in my district, and there's a limit and no pack. He said, well, maybe we can talk to you later when you change your mind. That's what he told me. When you change your mind. Wow. I forget the question now. I got off of this insurance thing. Oh, yeah, health care. Insurance. That brought me back. Insurance, pharmaceuticals. Look, I'm an old guy. I'm 68. I take, well, I won't tell you what I take, but I, I take uh, medicine for my diabetes and for my health. It's the most expensive thing I do in medicine, in doctoring. Do you know who is protected in Obamacare from price discounting or competition from Canada? Guess who's protected? Guess why? Your turn. Are you the man? You got it again. In fact, it's worse than the check. Let me defend Obama. He figured out that you know what could beat health care reform? The money that the pharmaceutical companies would spend against him. So he called, I don't mean this literally, it might have been Rahm Emanuel. <laughs> he called to the pharmaceutical representative and said, look, if you don't oppose health reform, we'll put you in the bill and protect you. You know what that's called? Corruption. It was never told out loud. It affected every citizen in America, and they weren't told. Health care reform, it could be done with doctors, nurses, and patients. And we could go against the expense, whether that be tort reform, pharmaceutical, we can get it done. We'll do it.